Right on. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Bojanic. Hey, Steve. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hi, folks. I, uh, I just arrived in Austin this afternoon. I'm sorry. I had a, I had a couple of commitments um, earlier this week. I had to be home in Halifax. Um, and I um, dropped my bag off in my room, and I came down the elevator. And the first people that I saw were Robert Reed and Peter Jones and Jessica Pop. Um, and and I said, oh, uh, you know, I've just arrived. I have to get to, and I saw Kevin Kennedy kind of across in front of the lobby, and I, I received an email from Kevin saying, um, need to see you, um, come meet me in the lobby. And I said, I have to go and see Kevin. Um, I'm on my way, I'll catch you later on. Jessica said, sarcastically, oh, he's probably gonna get you to do the vendor talk. And I said, I'm not prepared to do the vendor talk. I haven't even prepared for it. And so here I am, doing the vendor talk, uh, representing Xyrotex International. Um, I joined Xyrotex in 2010, um, and, and what I did, um, it was still kind of like Zyra who, um, because I hadn't really previously heard about them. They were stealthily um, sneaking around Lustre user group meetings and other types of events. Um, as it turns out, um, it's the largest disk, OE, a disk storage um, system provider in the world. Um, last year, in 2011, something like 19% of the world's external storage was shipped by, by Zyrotex. Um, so probably in a lot of your data centers, you're running Xyrotex equipment, but it's badged IBM or NetApp or other, other types of customers. Um, we are no strangers to HPC or to large volume um, storage. Uh, last year, um, the year before I think it was like 3.5 petabytes, this year, uh, sorry, 3.5 exabytes, this past year um, in 2011, four exabytes of storage shipped by Xyrotex. So we have deep storage experience and knowledge. In fact, um, there's kind of two parts of the company. There's this, the part of the company that does storage arrays and so forth. That's the part that I work for. There's another part of the company that specialized in capital disk drive, drive test equipment. And that we do a lot of R&D and we're deeply embedded with all of the disk manufacturers. And 50% of the world's disks are actually tested with equipment that we make for capital disk drive test equipment. And, uh, it's somewhere in the range of 75% of the world's three and a half inch disks. So Xyrotex is kind of in everything and the benefit that we bring to the HPC world, um, we've, we've been embedded in the HPC world for quite some time with Cluster Store, we have a product targeted towards the HPC storage world. Um, and having a large public company um, really kind of benefits because we've got, um, we've got a lot of R&D, um, we've got a lot of investment in enterprise class storage, um, the uh, FY11, we did $1.45 billion um, worth of revenue, and we're almost 2,000 people worldwide. So that's a large talent pool to draw from. Um, I mentioned the capital disk drive test equipment. That's kind of interesting stuff, but that's not really what I'm here to talk about. Um, we've traditionally done um, storage enclosures. We've got a, ser a series of modular enclosures, integrated application controllers that fit in those controllers, um, and now with Cluster Store, a rack scale, completely integrated solution. Um, with a number of technology innovations. The interesting thing about, uh, about Xyrotex, one of the things that, that kind of convinced me that it was an interesting place to go and learn, um, is that for Cluster Store, we do everything from bend the sheet metal to write the management stack on top of it and support the entire thing. So our management stack is a single pane of glass, manages everything from the disks and the enclosure all the way up through the file system and the services that run on top of it, um, and, and we build almost all of it and we support the entire thing. So this is a, it's a massive undertaking and it's a really interesting project to be, um, to be a part of. Uh, Cluster Store itself, the software stacks, the, the, the hardware is our best of breed enterprise hardware. A lot of the parts are actually used in enterprise class storage. Our 5U84, the densest storage enclosure on the market, I think that that's just become available. It was used first in Cluster Store. It's now available for other, our, our OEM um, uh, customers to, to be integrating into their solutions. And then the cluster store software stack consists of um, a uh, Red Hat derivative operating system, um, the Lustre file system that we all know and love. We keep very, very closely um, along the tip of the, of the release versions, uh, contributing to those, testing them at scale, um, uh, and, uh, and contributing to back. Um, our integrated hardware, and then the cluster store manager uh, UI on top of that, which again is, is not just manages luster, but, but manages the entire enclosure all the way from the disks all the way up through. 
Um, so it's no secret that Lustre is a critical and important and strategic part of the Cluster Store product line. Um, and as I said, Xyrotex was doing a lot of research and getting to know Lustre and getting to know the Lustre community in kind of stealth mode a couple of years ago, but now we're very much up front and center um, contributing to the community from which we derive so much. Um, so we, uh, were, we contributed to, uh, to the EOFS and we're, we're um, uh, kind of ground level players there. Um, we uh, have been involved in the Lustre community in North America for some time and then at Supercomputing just last year announced um, that we joined OpenS uh, OpenSFS at the promoter level. Um, so we're making a very substantial financial commitment and we have a, we have a seat on the board with EOFS. We're active contributors, and I think that some of those details have been talked about. Um, I won't go into all of those here. We integrate Lustre into the Cluster Store product line and continue to improve Cluster for the benefit of the entire community. And then we have a set of Lustre support services, um, primarily for the Cluster Store product, but also we have some uh, we have some customers that are running Lustre software only. It's not a primary business focus of ours, but we do have some strategic partnerships where we provide Lustre more traditional software only Lustre support services. So we're, we're making a substantial investment in Lustre. We have a world-class um, we have a world-class team. There's only over uh, over 150 software engineers working on the entire the entire software stack, everything from the firmware all the way up to uh, to Lustre in the management stack. Um, we've been uh, increasingly Lustre or Zyrotex was stealthy initially, but we've been very upfront about what we're making investments in, where we see the priorities. Uh, we've published those architectural priorities. You see them now integrated into the community roadmaps from OpenSFS. Um, so we've talked about OpenSFS, the European Open File System, the Lustre Users Group. Uh, here are some of the things, just to give you a taste of what we're working on. We're working on some CRC acceleration, um, the network request scheduler, which we see as a really, um, a really useful technology. That project actually is, um, it, the roots of that go way back to Oak Ridge National Laboratory and some research that was done there with the Lustre Center of Excellence when a number of us were involved in the Lustre, um, in, in Cluster file systems. So it's nice to see taking that early prototype work that was done at CFS and really starting to see it um, evolve and mature in collaboration with, uh, with WAM Cloud. Uh, we're working, and I think there was a presentation earlier today, I'm sorry I missed it, I really am, um, on end-to-end uh, da -end data integrity with, uh, with T10, um, and uh, there's some other work that we're doing related to the network request scheduler um, that we'll see later on this year. Um, keeping tabs is, uh, is, is a good way to make sure that internally that, that, that we're actually making a meaningful contribution um, I think that it's useful to be able to understand um, and, and to measure uh, where the contributions are coming from and making sure that we're, that we're cultivating a vibrant community of contributors to Lustre. Um, and that was everything that we had prepared. Right on. Any questions? Great. So we're last this year, and I understand that we get to be first next year. Absolutely. So I'll see you up here first next year. Peter Bojanic.